very different. <laughs> A lot more stressful. Um, in your undergrad, you kind of just learn about like the basis of psychology and just like a lot of theories. And here, you actually learn how you apply it to real mental health. So that's very different. <laughs> the modules, such as the core principles and research for mental health and, and clinical mental health, the, the core modules, that's markedly different from my from my undergrad. And I've been because of that kind of novelty, I've been really fascinated by that. I've really enjoyed doing um, things that I never thought uh, that I'd end up doing. Essentially. I usually describe it to people as um, essentially clinical psychology. Uh, and with, through my own elective choices, I've been able to um, kind of tailor it so as, so as for it to be, so as, to, so as for it to have a neuroscience um, it's a lot more challenging and a lot more demanding, um, but it does prepare you for futures pre future pressures that you'll face in the workplace. Um, it's a lot more specific, so if you're looking at going into research or clinical, you know that you're well prepared for it. So my undergraduate degree was in psychology, but it was heavily academic based. So it was a lot of little nuances in experimental psychology. Whereas in the UCL master's degree, it was a lot more like, if you don't attend your lectures, it'll be something that you lose out on as a cl future clinician and researcher. Whereas I felt like there, there was a big gap between your undergraduate academic work and essay writing and making these nuanced arguments versus um, just um, master's degrees where like it's, it's directly relevant to your work in the future so I feel like in general people are more engaged in it and that kind of culture makes you feel like okay I'm making an impact and this master's degree is helping me know what I don't know to make that impact yeah in my undergraduate degree I felt like it was very individualized and in that you can kind of stay in your room and you know crack on with it and just continue and get a degree out of it but I think this master's degree really pushes you into working with other people and like organizing your time properly and really um, making sure that you're on top of things together and I think that's a much more realistic view of research in general as compared to your undergraduate degree which is more academic and independent. There's a lot of things that I've learned since I've started this master's. Some of them are technical skills related to scientific research, so how to read a scientific paper and how to critique one. Um, some of them are related to more general things, so speaking up in front of people, giving presentations, that kind of thing, that are very transferable, that I'm hopefully going to be able to use anywhere. So my skills have developed vastly um, from, I mean, I didn't even know how to critically appraise a paper, I had no idea what systematic reviews were, protocols, none of this stuff. I'm now basically expert um, and not psychology related. I'd say my confidence has grown massively. Um, I'm not scared to ask questions anymore. So my research skills have definitely developed. They, the assignments that are provided they ask you to do things that are not just simply like write a research paper. They focus on specific um, aspects of the process of research, which is really great. Um, we talk, we look at writing protocols, writing um, questionnaire designs and things like that, which is really um, useful in a practical sense. We've um, done protocol, or written protocols for systematic reviews and Design, started design questionnaires and writing protocols for research projects. So I think these are really kind of, they, the, the assignments are really varied, so they require you to kind of learn a new set of skills each time. And I, but I think that's really helpful and really useful and a good way of kind of maximizing what you can get from the MSc. Range of, I've developed a range of skills after um, coming into this MSc and this what kind of can be separated into clinical and research and in research I feel like this is m a lot more realistic view of research where you have to work in a team and I feel like in my undergraduate degree there is no not really a chance to work like as a group whereas here it's basically compulsory to work as a group and it's really developed my presentation skills group work skills and also in my clinical placement I, I gained a lot of experience in working with 
people who are actually working in the clinical field in NHS with social workers, with the psychiatrist, with the clinical psychologist and I got to go to home visits and like understand what things are required in like a real life clinical setting. So, so qualitative research, like I was really quite intrigued by qualitative research which uh, I'd barely heard of you know before and so it's quite exciting the prospect of maybe incorporating those aspects of research into um, a PhD possibly. So the particular thing that I find helpful about the MSc, um, which I hadn't realised before I'd sort of got into it, is that a lot of the core modules, the core principles, mental health, epidemiology, statistics, are actually very helpful for the MRC psych membership exams. And a lot of, a lot of these modules cover the basis of what's required in paper A and paper B. So that has been helpful outside and also for um, general club presentations and case presentations that we have to do as psychiatrists, I'm able to use my skills that I've learned here outside. Um, the master's course has certainly increased my knowledge and my skills around the research processes, so understanding the research and the different skills that are required for it. It is very different clinically, but I like how the two sort of can combine as well.